What is going on everybody? My name is Bear Ridge. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to unlock Foot What If Caputo as fast as possible. Before we get into what we need to do to unlock him, let's actually take a look at the card itself. That way we can see what we're going to be working towards. You can see he is 5 foot 11, has high low work rates. He is right footed, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. His attributes, he has 89 pace, 87 shooting, 74 passing, 86 dribbling, 36 defending and 82 physical. His standout stats would probably be his attacking positioning, his agility, his reactions, his heading accuracy and his jumping. I probably recommend putting a hunter on this card. That way we boost his pace all the way up to 99. We're just missing that plus one on acceleration, but you won't notice it in game. Also takes his shooting up to 93, which would give him 98 positioning, 99 finishing, 90 shot power, 99 volleys and 91 penalties. I think that dribbling is fine. I think the physical is also fine especially with uh, that really nice heading accuracy and the jumping, with, which means he will be a threat from the corners. He also has the finesse shot trait, which is a really nice addition to have on the card. So if you like what you've just seen, this is what you have to do in order to unlock What If Caputo. So we need to score two goals outside the box in the live foot friendlies different makers. All of these objectives will be completed in this foot friendly objective. We'll go have a look at the requirements for that in just a second. So two, two goals outside the box can be done in the same game if you want. Also then need to assist in three separate matches using forwards. Um, doesn't No requirements on which forwards, just forwards themselves. We have to score five goals using Serie A players again. Um, doesn't matter what number of games you do this in you can complete them all in the same game if you want we need to win four matches and we need to score in 10 separate matches using italian players so it means that at an absolute minimum this will take you uh 10 games to do which is around three to four hours the foot friendlies different makers game mode requires you to have four bronze players in your starting 11 and you're not allowed any gold players. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the team that I am using, and then I will also give an alternative for anyone that doesn't have some of the players that I have in my squad. So here on the screen for you now, you'll be able to see the team that I am using to unlock What If Caputo. Um, my back line, I've gone with this back line because this is the uh, defense that I use in my Silver Star squad. It's tried and tested, so I, I wanted to maintain that. I have Luthien goal. He's a brilliant goalkeeper, one of the best silver goalkeepers I've used this year. We have Brennan at left back. Um, really good left back. A little bit weird because he's right footed, but it's not too much of an issue. So Just is probably the best silver centre back in the game. Highly recommend using him. Um, obviously, it's a strong link to Brennan, so that works really nicely. Then on the other side, we have Evan. Um, a fantastic centre back as well. Nice uh, pace, good defending and physical. He's quite tall as well, which is a real nice bonus to that. Then at right back, we have Sambia, one of these silver stars that you have to unlock. You can also use this week's silver star, which is Klukas. He is still available. Um, he will also work here and get the same amount of chem. So if you want to go ahead and get him, you can. He's not quite as good as Sambia, but he will do the job. Um, so I've got him in there, really nice card. Um, we also, for Silver Stars, have Keen here. They're going to be Keen so that we can get the Italian goals done because obviously that is the uh, longest objective that we have to complete. Um, so this Keen will be a really nice addition. As you can see, he's only on eight chemistry, uh, but we have managed to get uh, Toro Grosso, who is the other Silver Stars player on the full 10. Uh, when I opted to have him on 10 purely because he's also Serie A. So I figured um, it'd be more important to get him to score as well. Um, the only issue I really have with this is that um, I only have one uh, forward on the pitch in Toro Grosso. So if I assist a goal with Keane, um, it doesn't count as an assist with a forward. Uh, but that's fine. We, we're going to rectify that on the bench. We're going to the bench in a second. Now you need four bronze players and you can make three substitutions and you can bring uh, some of them off. But um, one of them is going to have to remain on the pitch. So 
I have gone, um, well, I was, for bronze players, the two that really stood out to me were Nago and Nagawa. Um, and the reason for that is they both have 88 pace. So they are fantastic cards. Um, I would, you could probably get away with using both of them and keeping them both on the pitch if you wanted. Uh, that means then you could just make two substitutions and then you've still got one for later on the game if you need it. Um, Nakamori is a really decent striker as well, very quick. Obviously, the shooting is a little bit low, but he would definitely do a job for you if you wanted to keep him up top. But obviously, he won't complete any of the objectives, um, and that's why you might want to replace him. And then I have uh, Larise here um, as well, uh, purely for chemistry to get um, Evan and Toragosa on for chem. So he comes out um, every time without fail. So um, I'll show you what I do in game. My formation of choice is the 4-3-1-2. Um, I've been using it a lot recently here and having a lot of success with it. So I decided to carry it off into this game mode. I will have a custom tactics and player instruction video coming out in the next few days. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. If you want to get all the details on why this formation is so fantastic. What I go ahead and do is I move Sambia into the CDM spot. I then bring on Dam and play him at right back. Um, I then leave Na Noaga as the right center mid and I bring off Nago for Mukhtar because you've got the five star weak foot. Uh, if you have Kittle, then you can do that as well. Make sure he's a left winger because then he counts as a forward. And then uh, Kanamori, he comes off for Jabashka. Um, and then I've made sure he's a right wing, so he counts as a forward as well. So if I assist with uh, Mukhtar or Jabashka, then I get the assist with a forward objective complete. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an alternative team if you don't have any silver stars. And so this is it. This is my recommendation. I've kept the back line almost the same, except I bought on Akpogma and replaced him with Evan just so that we can maintain chemistry on the back line. And then I've got Ezebu as the right back. He's actually the right back that I use in my Silver Stars team. So I can 100% recommend him. He is brilliant. We've kept the little Japanese trio over here um, because there's nothing wrong with them. Absolutely love them. They can stay there. So then what we need to do is get some Italian strikers. Um, Sasu is probably the best one here. He has 84 pace. He's four star, four star, and he has ridiculous dribbling stats. He is about 9k, so he is expensive. But if you buy him, complete him within the three, four hours, you can probably sell him for the same price. You won't lose any money. Um, if anything, you, you, if you're patient, you'll probably make a profit. I then also have Caprari, who also plays for Benevento. Um, obviously, uh, he's a centre forward. I've converted him down to a cam. Um, just for chemistry. He's probably better than all of the other Italian uh, forwards that there are available. So I'd probably recommend using him. Just all the other ones are really slow. They have a few better stats in terms of shooting, passing, dribbling, but the pace is really important. So I definitely recommend them. And then I have this guy, Ravella, here purely for chemistry again. He comes straight out. Um, and then on the bench, I'll go through my bench a bit more this time. So there's a few players here that I would like recommend. Um, Mayada is probably the best, one of the best CDMs. He's Uruguayan, so people sleep on him, but that 91 pace is absolutely fantastic. He is, I would probably say the Silver Kante. He's insane. Uh, Cliver is brilliant as a striker and a winger. Really nice card. Bebu is the best Silver striker, hands down. Better than all the Silver Stars ones, so I definitely recommend him. If you actually have him as a striker, then he'll count as uh, getting assists with forwards. Um, and then Birkenhaus, Helder Costa, both really good wing players as well. And then uh, Romario, um, obviously, if you've got Silver Stars, brilliant. If not, then this card is still pretty good. Um, and you can probably play him as the cam um, in the 4-3-1-2. Uh, so this is what I uh, would recommend in order to unlock uh, the What If Kabuto. I hope that you find this video helpful, informative, gives you some uh, good ideas of uh, what to do with your team and how to unlock him. If you want to see more videos like this, then uh, I would really appreciate it if you left me a like and you let me know down in the comment section what sort of uh, player you would want to see next. But this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Beridge and I will catch you all next time.